Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on where you are. Um, if it's the first time you're visiting my YouTube channel, um, I talk about a variety of issues. It might seem as though they're all over the place, but the central theme is justice. I do not like to think that people are not being treated fairly or who do not have a fair chance. A lot of times I talk about benefits because a lot of the people who receive benefits are the ones who are penalised because they don't understand the jargon, it's not explained properly. And similarly, the people who may have immigration issues, they don't know much about legislation and it's all very complicated. So I'd use these videos to simplify a lot of things and I hope I'm doing my job well. Anyway today, well yesterday I came up with this inspirational poem. I decided to elaborate on it a little bit but it's a short and sweet I hope video. Um, the poem says demonize the blacks, break down the poor, destabilize the middle class and you've got a civil war. Now, that thought came into my head and I thought to myself, why did you think that, those four lines? Why did they come into your head? And then I started thinking about how do they demonise the blacks? They demonise the blacks by const constantly showing negative images, um, portraying negative news media, um, criminalising them. You know, when you see them, they're either being shot or they're being stuck in prison, or the images they put up are kind of menacing. And yeah, they kind of have this, they make this image of black people something that people fear. So that's why I said demonize the blacks. Um, also, you have that repetition of slavery. Every now and then they put up a a film about slavery then they show these people in Africa with flies around their mouths they don't show the beautiful parts of Africa or you know the West Indies it's usually the the, the parts where you see these really emaciated children and they're all starving so that is the reason why demonize the de demonize blacks break down the poor we're breaking down the poor in America they're breaking down the poor with the public charge where people who are entitled to claim public charge are afraid to claim for it because they're afraid they're not going to be able to stay in the country or they're going to get kicked out even though they're legally entitled to it. In the UK they're um, breaking down the poor through universal credit. Um, universal credit was supposed to be um, a one system to cover all the different benefits and everybody was supposed to just get one packet but no oh no they've sanctioned it people are losing their houses they have a long wait to get the money a lot of people are being placed in poverty losing homes and you know that you know they're losing so much i think i don't even think some people are allowed to have free school dinners anymore so and they're adjusting who can get what and it's just chaotic as as a result they're rolling out until 2023 until they get it right but i don't think they can get it right until they treat people as individuals and not as blanket treating everybody the same you can't do that and not everybody is on the dole to scrounge and to sponge so they're breaking down the poor in that way also by increasing you know this low emission thing where you know, people who used to have a car, an ordinary car that they can manage, they're now being forced to buy a more expensive car by 2021 because the low emission charge is going to mean that anybody driving in London is going to have to pay £10 a day. So, you know, it's breaking down the poor, forcing them out of their areas because they can't live where they are, giving them a housing benefit that doesn't cover where they're living. Yeah, breaking down the poor destabilizing the middle class that will happen when the um at the end of brexit they're, they're talking about interest rates are going to go up to 6.9 percent um those on people who have buy to let mortgages who have more than one home whose one of the houses is usually on interest only that's going to go sky high and they're not going to be able to afford it and normally that interest only property that they're renting out normally pays for the house that they're living in. So if they can't afford the interest only, 
they're going to be up the creek without a paddle. Um, yeah, we all know that houses are going to plummet once everything goes tits up. Um, food, pet petrol truck, sorry, petrol prices are already going up. I mean, every time I pass, it's gone up. We started off 127, 128, 129. I'm waiting for it to go down. It's now 130. So, um, yeah, so that's going to destabilize the middle class. The fact that what they have is their homes and their homes, potentially they could lose them if they're one of these um, types of middle classes who've invested in more than one property and where the interest rates, if it does go sky high, it could well affect them adversely. And you've got a civil war. You've got a civil war where, you, where there's poverty, frustration, anger, bias you are going to get a civil war people start pointing at each other instead of pointing at the person or the people who are the cause of their misery and their situation so i'll just repeat that poem it's demonize the blacks break down the poor destabilize the middle class and you've got a civil war that's all for now <laughs>